Hey everyone, welcome back to Faith Arguments. Cody here, and today we're tackling a big question that has troubled many hearts. How can a good and omnipotent God allow suffering and evil in the world? First off, let's acknowledge the weight of this question. It's not just philosophical, it's deeply personal. We've all experienced pain, loss, and seen the horrors of evil in the world. So, it's only natural to wonder why a loving God would permit such things. Now, let's dive into this with some reasoning and evidence. To start, we need to understand that God's ways and thoughts are higher than ours. Isaiah 55, eight through nine says, "'For my thoughts are not your thoughts, "'neither are your ways my ways,' declares the Lord. "'As the heavens are higher than the earth, "'so are my ways higher than your ways "'and my thoughts than your thoughts.'" Our finite minds can't fully grasp God's infinite wisdom and purposes, but let's break it down further. One key point is the concept of free will. God created us with the ability to choose. This freedom is essential for genuine love and moral decisions. Unfortunately, this also means we can choose evil. In Genesis 2, 16 through 17, God commanded Adam not to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, yet gave him the freedom to choose. This choice led to the fall, introducing sin and suffering into the world. Some might ask, why doesn't God just remove all evil and suffering? Well, consider this. If God were to remove all evil, he'd have to remove all sources of evil, including us, because we've all sinned, Romans 3.23. Instead, God has a redemptive plan. Romans 8.28 reassures us. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. God can bring good out of even the worst situations. Let's not forget the ultimate demonstration of God's response to suffering, Jesus Christ. God didn't stay distant from our pain. He entered into it. John 3.16 tells us, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Jesus suffered immensely, not because he deserved it, but to offer us salvation and hope. In times of suffering, we might not always get immediate answers, but the Bible offers us hope and perspective. Revelation 21, 4 promises a future without suffering. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. God has a plan to ultimately eradicate all suffering and evil. In conclusion, while we may not fully understand why God allows every instance of suffering, we can trust his character and his promises. He is good, he is just, and he is working all things for our good and his glory. Thanks for watching Faith Arguments. If you have more questions or topics you'd like us to tackle, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Stay strong in your faith, and remember, God is with you through every trial. See you next time.